bodies of the last two victims of an eruption that has now claimed 16 lives, most of them tourists. New Zealand police confirmed the 16th victim died Saturday at Sydney's Concord Hospital. Two teams landed on the island by helicopter early Sunday morning. The teams, wearing heavy protective clothing, were using breathing apparatus that allowed them to search for only 75 minutes. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe officially unveiled the main stadium for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics and Paralympics at a launch ceremony on Sunday. The stadium in Tokyo, designed by Japanese architect Kengo Kuma, was completed more than half a year before the Olympics begin in July next year. Work on the stadium started behind schedule as the government abandoned the original design amid spiraling costs and complaints over its scale and appearance. A Sudanese court has convicted former President Omar al-Bashir on charges of corruption and illicit possession of foreign currency and sentenced him to two years of detention in a reform facility. Bashir was ousted in April following months of street protests against his three-decade rule. Dressed in traditional white robes and a turban, Bashir watched silently from inside a metal defendant's cage while the judge read out the verdict on Saturday. The spokesperson for Iran's Supreme National Security Council has played down the likelihood of restoration of diplomatic ties with the United States through a prisoner swap. Kevin Khosravi says prisoner swap between Iran and the U.S. is not the beginning of any new phase of mutual negotiations on the issue. Khosravi's comments come as Brian Hook, the U.S. Special Representative for Iran, said that recent prisoner exchange will lead to a broader discussion on consular affairs between the U.S. and Iran. That's the news. I'm Wen Jie. What matters to China increasingly matters to the world. Keep up to date with the latest news and events about the Middle Kingdom with the China Plus app. Up to the minute reports, live streaming audio, insightful opinion on everything China related. Facts, figures, and language learning resources at your fingertips. Everything in focus, all in one place. Search for China Plus in the App Store or Google Play.